Hi, welcome to this uh, video day, which is on uh, Saturday, the 14th of October. We're looking at what we consider to be two high probability trade setups in our view. They are USD CAD and AUD USD. I'm going to the charts in a moment. Now, in terms of USD CAD, it's probably my favorite pair in the markets at the moment. It's given us a really good profit, and I think there's far more to come. Now, in terms of AUD USD, it hasn't really done what we thought it would do. We thought it would fall heavily. It hasn't fallen heavily yet at all. It's not taking a, a key level of support, but I think it will. And I'm going to go through my logic now. In terms of um, the charts, obviously we're going to be looking at them. And we're also, yeah, when we're drawing our technical levels, we're going to be keeping in mind our favorite tool in Forex trading, the COT, the Commitment of Traders Report. For those of you unfamiliar with it and click on the explanatory link beneath this video just want to watch the video through right now just keep in mind that what we like to do is trade with smart money commercials when their positions move aggressively against large speculators right what we're going to do now start with usd cad and start by looking at the cot net traders first chart of uh cad usd it's the cot so the foreign currency is first we will reverse this round in a moment when we draw our levels the usd cad but first of all just briefly for, for new viewers um what we're looking for is these commercials the line in red okay uh there's your smart money hedges effectively to move aggressively against large speculators then we want to go with the commercials and you see how um, this divergence can give you clues here. Look at this big commercial long position against a really heavy spec short position. It's a nice bottom, and then we get a nice rise to the upside, okay? But what you'll see, as this we come up to around here, the commercials are starting to think prices have gone a little bit too far, and they drop short, and they drop to a five-year extreme here, okay, in terms of short positions just as the speculators move to a five year long extreme now prices top out in favor of the commercials it's a you know about a 300 pip decline so far but there's more to come and what's warning us there's more to come is this the speculators long position has remained the same for the last three weeks just basically flatlined commercials have done the same against them there's no more speculative buying coming in we've still got a five-year extreme in here so we think that is going to get flushed out on stop uh, and give us uh, a, a really big fall in the canadian dollar so let's go and look at some um, usd cad and draw some on the usd cad daily uh, just to look at some potential entries and uh, targets right now and of course the stop um i also want to go through these bearish or in my view bearish cad fundamentals which i think um the commercial c but first of all let's go through um you know how we've been playing this trade very quickly for new viewers now you get this nice big fall down here that's all in uh reaction to the bank of canada hiking rates but what we noticed was when we came through 124 the commercials basically speed up their buying and then through 123 and the specs are selling against them we hit a five-year extreme now what the large speculators is is they push prices too far to the downside not only do they react to the bank of canada raising rates they're looking for another rate hike in the following month despite the fact bank canada said that was probably highly unlikely so we're looking for a, a, a potential bottom in the usd this blue candle comes through 121 then back above this body this body comes down to test those two bodies and then this is the defining candle for us it comes through 121 can't take out this spike low so we think the selling is exhausted we'll come in at 121.65 normally we'd look for the 20 day moving average to hold um, rallies in a strong bear market however with a five-year extreme between commercials and specs we just don't think it will hold there's a little bit of a battle but we move nicely up and then we come up below the 126 level and we were saying in our last video you know obviously buy a breakout above 126 or buy a pullback towards the 20-day moving average and we don't break out 
we come back towards the 20 day moving average. Now, from our perspective, um, we decided to protect our profit and came out at 121.65, but there's, there's no follow through selling, okay? So we just come back in at 121.55, okay? It's a fairly gentle reaction, okay? And yeah, 20 day moving average, yeah, should provide support. That, that five year speculative extreme is still there. It's flatlined for the last three weeks. Um, there's no more speculative selling coming in. It's exhausted in our view. So what is going to happen is the specs are going to get rolled over on stop. So if you're coming in fresh, I mean, obviously we come in with aggressive entry. You could wait for this high here to be cleared out, let's say about 125.35. But I think, you know, that 124, just behind the 20-day moving average, is pretty solid support okay that's where these candles are grouped here then the breakout here the poke down you got 20 day moving average above it so we're going to tuck our stop or we have tucked our stop at 123.65 so where do i think we could go to well you know i personally don't think this level's going to hold i don't think this level's going to hold either okay because the extreme is too big. I think we're going all the way to 127.80 and possibly even up to 130. Okay. So really, really bullish. And I think this is a good risk to reward pair. Now, if we clear this candle out here and head towards 126, we're going to probably bring our stop up behind the 20 day moving average and hopefully trail it up. Now, from the perspective of the commercials being so bullish of the CAD, you don't need to know the fundamentals, but I think these are the reasons they are so bullish. Those, um, sorry, two year yields on Canadian bonds, they supported the Canadian dollars, it was stronger since July, but they haven't come down much and the Canadian dollar has shown weakness which means this rise is more to do with US strength than CAD weakness, okay? And the USD has been yeah, pretty soft on many majors, but I think the CAD fundamentals are getting a bit bearish, okay? Um, the CAD hasn't responded to stronger crude oil prices, which are normally supportive. And yeah, crude oil prices have been pretty perky. I mean, I think they could even go higher, but I don't think they're going to lend support to the CAD. But what you've got in CAD at the moment is... The data, it's been okay, but it's not you know, as good as the market once, basically. We did have that 10% drop in manufactured goods in terms of exports. That's a terrible number. Um, data generally is indicating a start for sorry, Q3, uh, and no more rate hikes coming this year. Uh, I spelt more wrong. Sorry about that. Um, but there's a potential rate hike coming from the Fed. Uh, I, I personally think that yeah, the bullish fundamentals for the CAD have peaked. Any move from risk will also hurt the Canadian dollar. We've still got that five-year extreme in the markets, a little bit of a gentle correction. I think the USD is going higher. I hope I haven't actually put a curse on this pair now because I said it was my favourite at uh, the start of this video. But no, I feel um, this is a good trade, um, good risk reward, right or wrong. We shall see what happens. Right. Now let's move and look at AUD, uh, USD, and let's look at the COT data. All right, we're on the Australian dollar against the US dollar. I've just done uh, some arrows um, where we've got the biggest speculative uh, net long position on the chart, which coincides with this top here. And we do come down, okay? We've come back a little bit. Now, obviously, in terms of the uh, commercials at the very top, they really opposed the specs. We've seen just a little bit of lightning in position because the, the Aussie is a little bit oversold in the short term. So we're seeing a correction, okay? But the positions um, are so wide apart. We see the Aussie dollar upside as limited. So we're going to see this rally as a selling opportunity. Now I've drawn a black line through the 76 level. Now if you look back over the last few years, um, the commercials tend to speed up they're selling once yeah, prices get above 76. Like over here on the left, you get a nice decline. Okay. 
over here, smaller decline, which actually bounces back, okay? Then the speculators go heavily long, commercials heavily short, break back down again. Uh, when we go up above 76 here, you can see the crossover as the commercials go short. So from the commercials perspective, um, when prices get above 76, the hedges get shift, shifted. Sorry. Um, so what we have at the moment is we've got a little bit of downside and now a little bit of a rally back up. We're looking for the Aussie dollar, obviously, to go down. So let's just go and look at the chart and let's look at some potential the Australian levels. dollar against the US dollar daily chart. Just very quickly, I'm just going to go through where our current position is and how we took it for, for new viewers. Now, this line I've drawn up here. Um, basically, as we came up here, we had a lot of um, commercial selling, speculative buying, goes across the level, comes back through. Comes back to test the 20 day moving average. Then we have another poke up again. Um, doesn't take out this level here. That's really bearish for us. We want to come in short, but obviously it's a blue candle. So we need to pick a level. The level's going to be the 20 day moving average. And we're going to let it clear out the 20 day moving average at uh, 79.70. So just below the round number as well, uh, which is obviously 80. Get through nice red candle, poke back to test. This one comes, this one fails. That's the end for us. We think we're going down and we go down really nicely down towards um, the 77.50 level. Now, this is um, where, yeah, in hindsight, I think I made a little bit of an error in terms of managing this trade. Um, I know there's strong weekly support down here. In fact, in our Facebook group, well, a few people were chatting about it as well. There is strong weekly support at this candle low. And I was actually thinking at the time, uh, I'm not going to bank the whole position in. I think the specs and the commercials have diverged enough. I'll just take half in and, and sell a rally back to here. So I took half in. I dropped my half trade back in too soon and now we've run on to the 20 day moving average actually before i forget um if you want to join the facebook group and get sensible advice and comment from other traders uh, you can join the facebook group beneath this video and you won't get any of that you know make a thousand percent a day in binary options so uh, if you want to join the group obviously link beneath this video right back to the trade so we're still in it um we've put our stop at 79 20 okay so i think we could well be taken out so we're going to get taken out for 20 or 45 pips which would be really disappointing <laughs> however still remain very bearish of the aussie if we get above 79 i'd sell it back through the 28 moving average which will be snake up behind i honestly feel that uh yeah 79.50 you know if we get up towards that level look for weakness or sell it back through the level with a stop behind the highs i just don't think we're going back towards the highs so i think we're coming down but we could go a little bit higher in the short term now when we get down to this level i think yeah obviously to be careful around this level i might do a full 100 percent bank and come in the other side it is a key weekly support level as well. And actually, looking back on it now, when she comes through here, look at her, she comes through that outer Bollinger Band, stochastic, well oversold. RSI, nearly oversold, as almost oversold it's been on the chart. They both turn up. The rally was obviously bigger than I expected, but hey, I suppose hindsight's a wonderful thing, right? So yeah, I think she's, she's not gonna make new highs, but she's certainly got the potential to run up in the short term. Um, so looking to sell, this level we'll be looking at very carefully. Once this gives way though, the specs in my view are gonna get run. That divergence is pretty big historically. It does point to yeah 500 pip moves. And the first level of support, if we do take out that spike low, is weekly support at, sorry, I've drawn the level wrong. This is actually at 74, okay? So that's your first level of support on the weekly, then 72. So uh, for me, uh, I know I haven't been as definitive on my levels 
uh, on this chart as on the other one. But yeah, there's a few more variables involved. If you want to follow my daily analysis, you can obviously uh, click on the link for our member centre below as well. But I think, yeah, the Aussie, she's been a little bit stubborn. Uh, but I do think we're going to see a, a, a really good break to the downside. So we, we'll see in the coming week. So that is my review of AUD USD. Thanks for watching me as per usual.